Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. So we're just going to see what comes up. And what do we got for Virgo for the 17th through the 23rd? You know, the timing is fluid, so this could happen next week, the week after, this week, whatever. What do we got for Virgo? Oh, you may be dealing with, I just did one, who, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Parrot, someone will gossip about all of your secrets. So you got somebody who's going to tell. They're going to say something. They're going to gossip. Somebody is going to gossip about you. They're going to tell your secret. Something that, is, that you didn't want to be said. Danger, fear, worries, tense situations, not good. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So you got you got a situation here. Somebody's jealous by the looks of things. They are. It looks like you got somebody here that isn't happy with you. They're jealous of you and you're fearful of them. Um, you're probably in a tense situation this week. You may just be fearful of, well, this is fear. It's fear. You may be fear. You're fearful. You're fearful of whatever this is scaring you. It probably definitely is. But this bread is a period of prosperity and abundance that is coming. Okay, you have enough. You're plenty. You're all set. But you got somebody here that is going to be causing problems for you. Interesting. This fox, it says shrewdness and resourcefulness. You may have to, you know, contact some resources or find your resources within yourself to deal with whatever this situation is. So what do we have for Virgo for the week ahead? You got to gossip. Somebody's going to say something about you. Nine of Wands reverse, extremely challenging situation, okay? You may be, uh, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, the Nine of Wands in reverse is a very challenging situation. We could have some hard feelings here, somebody that is angry. They are angry about life, okay? Um, there's a need to be gentle. There's ex This is extremely fearful. It really is extremely worried so you may be extremely worried about something you're expecting some trouble this week and i think that you you are probably correct okay if you're expecting trouble and you know they say our thoughts become things but you know it's also into it intuition okay your intuition is going to warn you sometimes um now the, the nine of wands reverse could be bad luck you know burned out uh hmm. Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands is about happiness. It's about home. This is a this is a path going down a new path, going through that door. So I feel like there's a new door that is opening. You maybe maybe there's a new change in your home. This is a celebration of some sort that is coming up. There's going to be some sort of happiness or celebration that is coming up. There's an upcoming celebration. You could. There's also, this is about commitment. You may be getting in, you may be extremely fearful about getting into a commitment with somebody because this is extremely fearful. You're expecting trouble, right? Distrustful, distrustful. Very, very worried. And this may have something to do with a commitment. Maybe it has to do with marriage or you may be in a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level and you're very fearful of that. Something like that. Um, you may be worried about a partnership that you're in. Ooh, because this is distrustful. Ace of Wands, an exciting new opportunity. This is something coming to fruition. 
This is a new spark, a new flame, a sudden desire, a new partner perhaps. This is this is exciting. So you do have an ex or there's growth here. This is growth. A new vision, a new desire. This is all of a sudden. This is that's the hand of God that is giving you an opportunity. This is an exciting opportunity. That could grow. It could grow very fast. It could grow into a commitment. It could grow into something long term. But there's a lot of worry. <laughs> what do we got here? Six of Swords. Now this is traveling. You may be traveling this week or you may be going someplace. This may have something to do with a body of water. Um, you may be going on a boat ride or you're going to the ocean or you're going to a river or a lake or something like that. This is, this is traveling to a new destination. So you may be traveling to a destination where, you know, this could be a, all of, a sudden spark. Okay. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now this is independence, but this could be giving up your independence, you know, or wanting to be independent. It could go either way, but this is a card of, uh, you must take action. Okay. This is a card of, of insecurity. And this one is too. So you may be feeling insecure, insecure within yourself, or some of you are in an insecure commitment right now. There's insecurities here, period. But the Nine of Pentacles is about independence. And so this could go both ways. You may be fearful of giving up your independence or you want to be independent. Two of Pentacles, you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice here. You're going to be making a choice about middle of the week. Three of Cups reversed. Now this is parting ways. And this is parting ways as well. This is gossip. So you do have a gossip here. Somebody may be, um, obviously you got the Three of Cups reversed is friends taught or if not a friend or it doesn't have to be a friend. It could be anybody. It could be a family member. You know, this is gossip. This is bitchy women. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. This is a termination. It's a lack of emotional growth. It's parting ways with somebody. Moving away. Moving away from somebody. This is an exciting opportunity for growth for you. You're going to have to make a choice. This is a change. And I think that you're going to be going back and forth as to whether you want to, what direction that you want to go. I think that so you're going to have an opportunity to change directions. And I think that you're going to be struggling with making this decision. I do feel like somebody's going to say something. You know, they're going to gossip about you. And it's really going to cause you some mental turmoil. Okay, because the Six of Swords is mental turmoil. It's trouble. Okay, it's going to cause you some trouble. It's going to cause you some worry. So, uh, you know, I think that you're going to need to... Uh, <sighs> take action. This this Nine of Pentacles reverse is about taking action. You know, you got to deal with your own insecurities. I think there's a need for discipline here. And I think you need to listen. I think you need to listen to your gut. Okay? You may be in a situation with somebody that doesn't complete you and you're staying there. You're feeling very alone. You have a new opportunity here that could lead to something long term. It could lead to a lot of happiness. But there's a lot of worry. There's a lot of worry and insecurities that are causing you problems. And people are probably talking about you. And maybe that's one thing that you're worried about. You may be worried about gossip. You know, maybe that's why you're staying in a situation. If that is your case, it won't be everybody's case. Maybe you're choosing to be single because of gossip. You know? Uh, judgment. Poor judgment calls. Some This is... Uh, self-doubt, feeling guilty, not listening to your gut, not answering the higher call. Um, you may, maybe you're feeling ashamed, you know, or you're too afraid. You're, there's fear. There is fear. Uh, seven of pentacles. I feel like there's going to be a relocation. 
or you're thinking about a relocation. This is investment. Is it really worth it? Is it worth it to stay where you're at? You have a golden opportunity. You're going to be given a golden opportunity to start fresh someplace else or a new opportunity that really excites you. But it feels like you've got friends that are giving you poor advice or something like that or you're worried about what your friends say or what they're going to say. You have a friend that really is not your friend. Okay? And they may be going back and forth with somebody and telling them everything you are telling them. So make sure that you are, you know, um, be, this is shrewdness and resourcefulness. You're going to have to just be, don't, there's somebody in your life that is not your friend. And they are telling all of your secrets to somebody that they shouldn't be. And that's what I got to say. So, four of pentacles. You got a lot of pentacles. It's pentacles and wands pretty much here. You have one cups. So it's fire and earth. You got one cups and one air. One major. So this is all about you. There's only one major here. So th this is in your hands. The universe has given you the wheel. Okay, they've given you. You have to make a judgment call this week. You definitely have a golden opportunity here. You have a golden opportunity to go down a new path, okay? This is, um, the power is in your hands, okay? This is a reality check. This is, this is something you can touch. This is a gift of security. It's a gift of stability. This is a true gift, okay? You have manifested something. This is a new solid opportunity that can lead to abundance, okay? Um, but you have to take it. You have to take it. And I feel like you are, I mean, the four of pentacles is stubbornness. Somebody that is set in their ways. Somebody that is resisting change. So I think for some of you, you're resisting change. You may be very independent or you're fearful of independence. Uh, lack of acceptance here. Not seeing the truth. Lack of awareness. You may not be aware that you have somebody that is against you. And I absolutely feel like that is the case that is the case. Um, you really need to think about who you're telling your secrets to. Just saying, uh, you're going to have to make a judgment call this week that you are probably not prepared to make. Okay? I feel like um, you have an opportunity to go to a better place. You may be traveling. You may be traveling someplace this week. Um, somebody's talking behind your back. There is somebody that is talking behind your back. Um, and I feel like you're, you are, you don't trust this person already. I think, you know, who, obviously you, this is one of your friends that really isn't a friend. So this is, or a family member, um, you're going to need to move on. You're going to need to move on from, this is move on from a bad choice. You may have made a poor judgment call to trust somebody because this is bad luck. You may have trusted the wrong person with your secrets or whatever it is. So they, they, they're going to tell your secrets and it may cause you some trouble. Okay, this is trouble. I mean... Um, and I, but I do think that you are going to be parting ways with this person. I do. I do. I feel like you're going to be parting ways with this person because I feel like the truth is going to come out. The truth is, you know, you're going to, you're going to hear what they said. Something is going to happen that causes trouble and you're going to, the truth is going to be revealed. You're about to get some sort of reality check about who your friend really is. That's what I got to say about that. Anyhow, somebody somebody in this reading is very obsessed. They are obsessed with stability, okay? You know, or independence or something like that. Um, the Two of Pentacles is a profit and a loss, but, you, you know, um, a loss that leads to a profit. So you do have something here that could be very profitable to you, but you're going to have to let something go, okay? Uh, it has, it may be a job or it may be a home, it may have something to do with a home or something like that. Um, 
I think you are dealing, this is a challenge. It is extremely challenging with a nine of wands reversed. I think you're going to be dealing with some challenges. Could even be financial challenges there, with a nine of pentacles reversed. Okay. And this is going, this is, there could be some juggling, juggling of the finances this week. You know, you're juggling your finances. You may feel like you don't have enough. Um, be careful of overspending. Do you really need it? If you don't need it, don't buy it. Okay, maybe you need to hold on to your money. You need to hold on to your money because if you don't need it, if it's really worth it, don't buy it. Okay, so that's a question. I mean, that's something you needed to hear. Save, save, save. Um, I feel like um, maybe maybe some of you are wanting to move. You're wanting to move to another place. This is moving, but you got somebody that is holding you back. There could be drinking, a lot of drinking going on. You could be dealing with a drinker. Or, or somebody that is working against you. Um, I feel as though um, you are, you need to save. You need to save, save, save. Um, you need to be aware of uh, what you're spending your money on. Anyhow, let's get back to this new beginning. Because that Ace of Wands is a new beginning. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. You have a new solid opportunity waiting for you. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is usually above you. Okay, it hasn't been given to you yet. You have to, you have to reach for it. You have to go for it. So you have an opportunity that is coming to you. You absolutely do. But you have to let something go first. Something that you have been in, you've been investing in and holding on to, and then you got to save your money. However that resonates with you. You have an opportunity for happiness here. It's very, very exciting, but you got to part ways. you got to part ways with somebody that really isn't your friend. you got to move on from that person. And you may be staying with that person because, you know, there's a roof over your head or there's some sort of stability there. Um, so this week you are dealing with some challenges. Queen of Swords, you need to be decisive, okay? You need to you need to look at things from a new perspective. You may have to think fast this week. Okay, the Queen of Swords is a, is a quick thinker. You're definitely going to get a new perspective or you need to look at things from a new perspective. Um, the, the Queen of Swords is very assertive. She's very independent, okay? Um, so there's a lot of independence here. Some of you may want to be independent or you've been independent, this has to do with independence. Maybe it's Independence Day. I don't know. Um, but there is there, that Ace of Wands, a new desire. Somebody may have a new desire to be independent. Okay. Um, maybe you have to fight for your independence. You, you're probably going to have to defend yourself. Okay. The Queen of Swords is, has to defend herself. She has to be authentic. She has to speak the truth. She can be brash. You may have to, you know, put somebody in their spot. You know, put somebody in their place. I think you're probably going to. Or you're dealing with somebody that, you know, is questioning you. You may be questioning them as well. Asking somebody, why did you say this? You know, that kind of thing. Um, Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, she's very assertive. She's very independent. She's very wise and she thinks fast. So you may need to think really, really fast this week. Um, giving, you may be giving somebody a new perspective. You may, you may be telling them exactly how it is. The devil reversed. So this is the devil reversed is needing to free yourself from this. You may be in a third party situation. Somebody may be in a third party situation. They've been ignoring it because they're afraid of being alone. They don't want to be alone. Anyhow, the devil reverse is toxic. It's unhealthy. The devil is toxic, unhealthy. This is suffering, despair, uh, weakness. You you know, somebody is dealing with an individual that is very toxic to them. This is breaking free, cutting yourself free from somebody. So yeah, I think that you're going to be losing a friend or losing somebody from your life that you find out has been against you. This person has been against you. Um, they have their own motives. And I think you're about to find out who this person is. It could be a Capricorn. Hopefully it's not. 
Anyhow, um, it could be a Capricorn, it, it could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But anyway, um, the devil reversed is a, uh, you know, somebody's in a deep, dark place. They don't care who they hurt. Um, you need to break free from this person. This person is not your friend. So anyway, I feel as though you are going to be uh, moving. You're going to be going to, you're in, you're in some situation that is very, very troubling. But I do feel as though you are headed out of it. You're headed out of this. You're headed away from this individual. Um, this is a bad choice. Somebody has made a bad choice. They were not aware. Anyway, this devil reversed is uh, breaking free, taking control. This person right here has a lot of demons. They have a lot of demons that are haunting them. They may be. They may have a lot of addictions. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. It can be anybody. Somebody that. And with the, with the Three of Cups, there's addict. That's there's definitely overdoing it. There's somebody here that is overdoing it. They're gonna get called out this week. This person may be going someplace. Whatever's happening, the truth is definitely gonna come out this week. get the page of wands in reverse this is unwelcome news that is coming you may be dealing with a person that is very pessimistic they see themselves as a victim they're very immature very childish doesn't follow through with anything this person is unreliable they procrastinate there's some sort of setback or bad news that is coming. There is. I'm sorry, Virgo. There is. But I feel like there's freedom because the devil reverses freedom. And this is too going to a better place, getting to a better place. I feel as though by the end of this week, you're going to be moving away from this person or you're going to be severing ties with this person yes i feel like there's ties that are going to be severed with somebody this week good luck